Guys, the next person that we have in the studio, oh my god. The next person that we have in the studio, oh my god. Guys, let me tell you something. We're texting on WhatsApp, okay? We're texting on WhatsApp and he told me, bro, 45 minutes will not be enough for me, oh. That means he has like fire, a lot of fire to give to us, okay? He has like a lot of fire to give to us, guys. Awesome, um, awesome guys, awesome guys, awesome, 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 awesome. We are back, right? We are back. And in the studio right now, we have Eddie Ashidi. Eb Ashidi, when it comes to building highly converting persuasive sales funnel, Eb is your guy. Eb is your guy, and um, I mean, and he's going to be telling us and be showing us exactly how you can build highly converting and persuasive um, um and sales funnel as a digital creator, and basically like the importance of sorry, the importance of sales funnel in affiliate marketing, and like basically promoting your affiliates marketing offers okay and you know this is like very important like this is something that you need to know right sales funnels how to build sales funnels something that you need to know if you want to make it big as an affiliate marketer so we have ebby in the studio right now um ebby i'm adding you to the stream okay ebby can you hear me Abby! <laughs> how you doing man i'm good man i'm good man how you doing can you hear me i'm good yeah, I can hear. Oh, okay. I love awesome, your headsets. Awesome. I love your headsets. Can I? Yeah, can thanks, I? Man. Can I come and have it? Can I come no. and have it? No. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, man. amazing, amazing. So, I mean, where are you right now? Are you in Nigeria, Lagos? Which part of the country are you in? I am in Nigeria, actually, Ibadan. Ibadan. Oh, I was in Ibadan yep. some two years ago. Amazing place. I love the Amalat Ibadan. The Amalat Ibadan is awesome. Awesome stuff. Actually. Yeah, awesome stuff. <laughs> it's awesome. So, I mean, guys, we have Ebi here and he'll be showing us exactly how to, like, you know, build sales funnels. I mean, the importance of sales funnels as an affiliate marketer. Ebi said that for five minutes will not be enough for him, but please, let's all beg him, okay, to contain the fire in 45 minutes, okay, Ebi? Oh. Over to you sure all right thank you so much man thank you hi guys um i hope everyone can hear me if you can hear me kindly put a fire emoji on the chat all right thank you so much joshua thank you for welcoming me thank you chima all right oguru has the fire emoji please if you can hear me if you can see me kindly um put a fire emoji in the chat so that i can be sure that i'm reaching out to everyone all right great great okay so um first off this is my first stream yard so forgive me if i don't share my screen in the appropriate manner right uh let me share my do you need help all right um do you need help uh no i think i think i'm good i'm just uh all can right. you see my screen now um yes 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 we can okay awesome 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 all right so let me make the slideshow okay all right good so um first off i'm going to say that everyone is welcome here and i'm glad to be here thank you so much seller for the opportunity i remember when tamilore hit me up i was like yo ab this is what is going on i'm like yeah man why not why not i'm interested um i hope that like i said the time is definitely not enough but i'm going to try my best to rush through a lot of things so that we can um probably get a good deal out of this all right so funnel hacking and optimization um first of all you are here because you're an affiliate right you're an affiliate marketer or you own an online business you know or you're thinking of getting into affiliate marketing or you're thinking of getting into an online business you know and um the reason why you're here is not just because you saw the seller thing and then you decided to come up or because you saw ab or tamilore or bruno or caleb that, that's not the reason why you're here you're here because you're ready to take the online space and become profitable so everything that i'm going to share with you this evening is going to be centered around the basics that you can use to start out right i have some practical plan i hope that i can get to that um now what i discovered working with a variety of business owners affiliates and coaches from around the world is this um it's the fact that a lot of people do not know what they want 
a lot of people do not know how to achieve what they want now there are certain people that know okay this is what i want this is what i want to achieve this is the goal i have in mind and then the issue is that they do not know how to achieve it some others do not have any idea whatsoever you know and i realize that that's an issue right you have a good product you have a good platform but having knowing how to market it knowing how to drive sales and all of that seem to be a problem so i'm just going to touch on the funnel angle of things and i'm going to share that with you um i've had newbie affiliates and um, business owners come to me for work and say things like i just bought my website i want to make a landing page i want you to make a landing page for me i mean that's not <laughs> like how do you buy a website you know they have no idea about it i've paid for the website so why is developing it more expensive i get that a lot and then some people say do i need a website first or a landing page you know because they do not know the difference between a website and a landing page and then you hear them say things like okay can i get you you know some people who are dubious will say well, yes i can give you a landing page separately and i'll give you a website separately and then charge and get a lot of money off people for something that is really simple you know so the major thing is that a lot of people have zero ideas right and so i am here to help you see reasons or see or understand why or understand the reasons why you should do what you should do right over time with the study relating with affiliate marketers newbies and a few oldies i came to the conclusion that most affiliates have zero ideas about what it really takes to launch a campaign from start to finish in this training i will take you through the important tools needed for your funnel to take flight right so um, first of all who am i uh, my name is ab ashidi um i am the husband of moyo i mean that's like my proudest achievement so far um and then i'm a funnel hacker and uh i co-founded a startup with a couple of my friends and uh, you'll hear about it pretty soon all right um so table of contents no i didn't make a mistake uh because everything just looks like back end front end email end traffic end so i'm like why can't i just do content since it's all about the ends, right? So we're going to talk about the back end, front end, email end, traffic end, complete end, and then the end, right? All right. So back end, we're going to talk about what is a hosting, what is a domain name, what is an SSL, and what is a website. I'm going to rush through this, and I want you to please keep up with me. For the front end, we're going to talk about landing pages, opt-in pages, sales pages, and then thank you pages. I hope we can set up something around this. Um, before the end of the night all right and then next we're doing email and what is email marketing what email marketing client should i use and then traffic and you know whatsapp facebook twitter youtube instagram blogs i should have added tiktok because killer talked about it well yes tiktok is a major um traffic source for a lot of businesses today so you should add tiktok to the list and if i get to talk about that um, and then finally, um, let's get into it. The back end. Now, um, let me let me start from hosting. In simple terms, web hosting is paying for storage space on the internet. The same way you require a physical store space, you need a web hosting. So let's say you sell rice in the market, right? And then you know that you can't just sell rice in the middle of the road or anywhere. You have to have a shop. So that shop can be what we would term to be your hosting, right? That shop, the place where you keep the rice and then you dish it out for people, that can be termed to be the hosting. So if people are looking for you, that shop is where you're situated, right? And then the domain name, the domain name is simply your address on the internet. Um, it's like sharing your physical address with people. Um, you share your online address as well. So. Um, for example, an example of a domain name is selar.co, that is seller.co, right? That's the example of a domain name. But then, if you just buy a domain name, you would realize that nobody can actually access anything on the domain name. Why? Because the domain name is like your business name. Like, it's like your, everybody can say, oh, yes, we're looking for seller. We know about seller. But if seller is not hosted, I mean seller.co, if seller.co is not hosted, then nobody can actually get any resource from seller. So um, your domain name is what people can know you by. And then your hosting is that thing at the back end where you can have um, your, where, you where your domain name is resting upon. 
um, what is an SSL? This is very important. Uh, look at an SSL like the security system you employ for your physical store, right? Say a guard, a padlock, an alarm system, CCTV, ETC. This is what a secure socket layer is. So essentially what that does is you don't want to just have a shop and have a good name and have the products, but then it is not secured. When you're not there at night, people can come and loot you. Right, so your SSL is that security, and then there are different levels to it. Some people might just have a padlock, some other people might go a step further to have a security guard, some might go a step further to have a security guard plus an alarm system, and then some will have a CCTV system, you know, and all of that. So, when it comes to SSL, there are different levels of it costing differently, right? Yeah, so that's really how um, the, the, the SSL works. Now, what is a website? Um, a website is a set of related web pages located under a single domain domain name typically produced by a single person or organization um, let me let me explain that to you in let me say basic terms right so let's say seller.co is the domain name that's that's the domain name that's the company seller and seller.co is a domain name now if you now have a forward slash like in the commercial that we saw Right. If you have a forward slash pricing, forward slash, pri forward slash pricing is a page on the website, and it belongs to seller, and it is connected to the seller website. You know, and then they have another forward slash contact us. That is another page, but it is connected to the same. Um, it's connected to the same website. It's connected to the same business. So that is what a website really is. It's a group of connected pages so you see a website you have the home button you have about us you have contact us you have services you have pricing you have testimonials different pages but they're all connected to this particular um domain um, domain name right so we can refer to that as a website now speaking about the front end we're going to talk about landing pages let me just jump right in in marketing a landing page is a standalone web page right it is different from the rest of the website it is you know how for for instance when you register to come on the seller um on this summit right what what you landed on to register is actually known as a landing page right it's a page on the seller website but the goal is for you to register so you would not see anything else that is um what's the word you would not see anything else that is that is taking away your your attention or that is distracting all the goal of that from the first word to the last word on that page is to ensure that you click on register or you click on i want to attend you know so a landing page has is some it's it it drives a particular message right it drives a particular message so when when for especially for those of us who are affiliate marketers right you you're you're selling your affiliate products you have set up an ad and then people are landing on your landing page. It will not make sense if your landing page has several um, buttons. It has the about button, and then it has a button where people can go on your Twitter, and then it has a button where people can go on your Instagram. But your goal is to let them click on the button on your page that takes them to the seller um, affiliate page where they can buy a product, and then you get your affiliate commission. You know, so it will be doing your, you'll be doing yourself a great disservice. If your landing page is noisy if your landing page has a lot of um, things to just distract people and get people off the page so a landing page is possibly to promote a specific product or service right not to promote a lot of products or services but usually to, to promote something specific um, a sales page is a standalone page as well created with one specific purpose in mind to secure sales for a product right this in most cases can and should be different from the landing page now let's say for instance if you go on seller.co you see that everything on on that seller.co um page right I, I hoped i was going to share this with us but um my streaming my my sharing screen my cause some delays so i'm just going to skip that but if you go to seller.co right now that is a landing page right and then on that page you see that they talk about a lot of things and you would be able to actually buy certain things you'll be able to click and then you get redirected to a page where you can create an account where you can 
begin to sell your products and all of that or where you can join the affiliate program so but a sales page is specifically to make sales right it's specifically to capture the details of people including their money right this in most cases should be different from your landing page because most times your landing page might not be um a long sales a long sales page it could just be an opt-in form you know where people just come in in exchange for um their emails or their phone numbers you give them a resource a free video a free consultation a free ebook or something like that you know but your sales page is that page where you actually pitch to them where you actually condition everything on the page to ensure that these guys buy from you that visitors who land on your page um buy from you and then your opt-in page is a page designed to convert users into subscribers with the help of a lead magnet like i said it can also be your landing page right so let, let me let me let me put it this way since we have gotten here already now when you run ads on facebook i see you asking Caleb, how can we run ads on facebook and all of that or how can i get how can i increase my leads by by organic means right so let's say you post on tiktok you post on instagram reels and all of that and you have people the page where people land can just be an opt-in page let's say for instance you are selling um a course on seller that is for jackpot i'm saying jackpot because i hate tamir talk of it and um caleb as well so let's say it is for jackpot say going to canada right and then you have people who land on that page now they might not just trust you and want to just click on any link you have so you can create a checklist right create a checklist um 10 things you must know before you start your canada japa application right it's a checklist with phone numbers and stuff of people they can reach out to and then you exchange that for an email right and their first name and last name and phone number very important you know that's your landing page and it is also your opt-in page right and so you exchange the lead magnet for their details now when you do that you can now have a thank you page you know they have given you their details in, in as much as you you have something behind us you have a a plan at the end of it right you want to tell them thank you you want to appreciate them for giving you their their email or their name or their phone number you know you're gonna have a thank you page saying thank you for sharing your details with me right and then that thank you page can now double as your sales page right so i see um um there's they are setting they are setting funnels you know where they, they share with you a a resource say a free ebook and when you when you click when you say when you fill in your emails right they tell you hi your resource is going to be in your email in the next five minutes or in the next 10 minutes please do not close this page while you are here i want you to see this right and then they begin to share details with you they begin to tell you about this product so you have downloaded the japa um, checklist and now i'm telling you that actually with that checklist we can actually hold your hands and guide you on your path until you get your um admission in canada until you get your pr in canada you know and all of that until all of your family members who you have plans to get to canada get there you know and then you begin to push it there have you struggled have you paid money to agents that have run away with your money you can actually do this yourself you know look at this person that you bring in testimonials testimonials video testimonials make more sense so your sales page now becomes that page where you actually pitch the main idea and then as soon as they do that as soon as you have that ready you know and then the user is interested in your offer and they click then you can redirect them to the seller page where they can make where they can make their, their um, purchase you know and then you get your affiliate um money from it right now we're going to talk about the email and what is email marketing Ooh, what's the time okay what is email marketing right um what email marketing tool should i use now email marketing simply put is the best thing to happen to marketers since coffee and if you know you know marketers love coffee a little too much right um you have a lot of people who have tried out email marketing and they have realized that the roi that is the return on investment for your average email marketing is almost it makes paid advertising right to look like it's in the oblivion compared to what email marketing does why because with email marketing 
you get their contacts once and then you can sell to them over and over and over and over again so let's let let, let me bring this into the context of affiliate marketing with um with affiliates let me, let me put this in the context of affiliate marketing with affi with affiliates now um let's assume that there are five courses or there are five products on seller that you want to sell right or that you want to affiliate for um one of them is a jackpot course right another is a professional cv rewrite course another is how to make money um in dollars or something now you might have a desire to sell all of those right and then you decide to position yourself as the person that has that is the plug you know in i mean in the world today when when they say ah this guy is my plug you know that it means the person is a sure resource you know so instead of you running ads to one million people for that now let me draw the let me draw the line for you a person who wants to go to canada either via the academic route or via the uh, permanent residency or work route that person would need to have their cv on point right so you get that person to come into the course or to buy your japa course and then you can also sell the cv the um cv rewriting course and all of that to the person it might even be a done for you process right you might do that and then you know that the process is a bit expensive right and so you can now attach this product where their cv and all of that can be set up to um this other product you know where they can actually get their pr or get their their their, their visas via the academic route so you can pair those two products together but you would not sell them together you will not sell them at once you can first pitch for the um um jackpot one and then these guys get on your email list and then you begin to service them you know they you begin to service them talk about things jackpot and all of that and then one day you come up with a testimonial from somebody who actually got the course you know and then the only thing that made them to actually get a good job in canada was because their cv was on point you know and then you would pitch then you would then pitch that cv course to them which means that um you can actually sell the same product to another to another person right or to the same person another product to the same person because they are related because they um they complement one another you know so with email marketing you have an endless stream of opportunities you and it helps you to actually and nurture these guys it help you it helps you to keep them close to you you know you send an email once a week and if you have the balls you can do it every day you know but whatever it is email marketing helps you um it, it just helps you to to get customer loyalty you know i'm just going to read what i have on the screen use of email within your marketing efforts to promote a business's products and services as well as incentivize customer loyalty that's what email marketing is now email marketing is a form of marketing that can make the customers on your email list aware of, of new products discounts and other services right so let's say for instance you have sold the japa course to them and then you find out that the the, the creator of the cv course is now saying that he's doing it 20 percent off and all of that you can let them know and draw the line between um the two of them you know and that makes sense and you can sell that to your email list without running ads without um dancing on tiktok again you have done it once and you now have their contact you know and then you can continue to reach out to them i mean it's almost similar to whatsapp marketing right almost similar to whatsapp marketing with status not business please now it can also be a softer sell to educate your audience on the value of your brand or keep them engaged between purchases right it can also be anything in between so from when they come in and you just becoming friends with them you know nurturing them ensuring that they know you they know what you stand for and they understand that you love them and that you want to see them succeed you know up to the point of where they even buy from you and then you know for instance um there's a lot you can do with email marketing so much so much you can do with email marketing now what email marketing tool should i use before I go ahead with this, please, if you can hear me and you're getting any value from this presentation, kindly put a 222 on the chat, right? 222 on the chat. I'm just going to swipe there and see if I see any 222s. If I see any 222s, I know you're with me. 
and I'm definitely going to understand that I am passing something across. Is anybody with me here? Good, good, good. That's that's good. That's good. Thank you so much. Now, what email marketing tools should I use? There are several, right? There are several email marketing tools. Um, Campaigner, MailPoet, MailChimp, Infusionsoft, iContact. Sorry, just remove Infusionsoft from your mind. That's too expensive. Um, Aweber, GetResponse, Constant Contact, and all of that. There are so many more. There's BirdSend, which is really, really affordable right now and helps creators, you know. Um, so you can actually use any of those, right? So that would be that about email end. And then traffic end, I'm not going to dwell a lot on this because... I believe that Tamilore and Caleb must have touched on this, but you can see these are all of them, including TikTok, please, including TikTok, um, including Reddit, including um, Medium. I mean, anywhere where you can share content and then have people actually click on a link and come back to your WhatsApp or come to your chat landing page, whatever it is, that is something that actually works fire, right? Now, the ease of setting up a campaign is very is very simple. You need to just sort out the back end, that is get your domain, get your hosting. And then the second thing you need to do is the front end where you need to be sure what you want to achieve with the website or the special pages, be it the landing page, an opt-in page, the thank you page, whatever it is. And then the email end, you know, talking about the research, you know what email tool you want to use, what works best for you and all of that, right? And then traffic. What sort of traffic do you want? You know, you you can't use everything. That that's something I must tell you. You can't leverage every social media except you have a team of people who work with you. Then you can say, okay, I'm going to leverage all this person. You're just going to focus on TikTok. You are just going to focus on Facebook. But if you want to actually do anything meaningful with traffic, right? Then you have to understand that you look for what works best for you, and then you take advantage of it. It could be Facebook, it could be Instagram, it could be Twitter, you know, whatever makes more sense to you, or whatever works best for you. It could be YouTube, posting videos on YouTube, whatever it is, just ensure that you find the one that works for you, the one that has your target audience moving around the most, then you can um, take advantage of that. I'm almost at the end of this. Now, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts, you know. Um, one way or the other, everybody will eat breakfast in affiliate marketing. One way or the other, everybody will eat breakfast in sales and marketing, right? But what is important is to know that you can actually be successful and that when you fail, when you follow up a lead, when you, when you run ads and then you don't get the kind of results you want, when your landing page is not converting as you expect, when people get on your, on your opt-in page, they actually get in, read your landing page, they click on the button to buy, but they just end up abandoning the cart, right? You must understand that that failure doesn't mean that that's the end of the road. It actually does mean that you can actually, um, that you can actually bounce back and make corrections where it is necessary. So that being said, um, that will be the end of my slide presentation. I'm just going to quickly slide in, right? to show you how you can actually create a landing page um, or an opt-in page and then a landing page on, on a very simple process and link them together so that you can actually work well with um, your audience or work well with the people who you will be getting through your traffic sources to your funnel. Now, if you're here with me, kindly let me know that you're here with me. Let me see a fire emoji on the chat. <laughs> this person said amen. What did I say that one? I said amen. <laughs> All right. Let me just see a fire emoji on the chat if you can hear me. If you can hear me, please let me see a fire emoji on the chat. All righty. So I'm just going to try to share my screen again. Good. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Entire screen. So I'm going to try to share my entire screen. I hope that works out fine. Let's see how that goes. All right. Okay. Can you see my screen? If you can see my screen, please just say yes. I can. Okay. I can see my screen. 
Okay. Let me assume that everybody can see my screen, right? Please, if you can see my screen, just type in the chat. I can see your screen so that I know what exactly um, or how exactly I'm doing. I'm doing well. All right. Okay. Somebody said yes. Okay, good. So this is the WordPress backend. It's really simple and it's just straight to the point, straight to the facts. You don't need to... Um, I wish we had more time. I would have gone through the process of buying a domain and then um, getting a hosting SSL and all of that. But I, what I just did was I created a subdomain for seller, right, on my uh, own website, just so I could illustrate this to us. Um, you have to get familiar with the back end, as you can see, with the dashboard, because this is where everything goes down. You know, so I'm just going to quickly um, download a couple of plugins, sorry, I say download, um, install a couple of plugins that are necessary, right? Um, let me see. Um, Elementor. All right. Let me get that going. All right, good. So I'm going to install that. And then I'm going to install um, cha 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 cha. Ninja forms. All right, good. So what what I simply want to do is to show you how to create a an opt-in page. It's not going to be pretty because we have limited time, right? But I'm going to show you how to create an opt-in page such that you can easily collect the, the the details of people, even if you do not have the money to pay for an email marketing software at the moment or whatever that is. You know, you can actually get that and then um, sell to them simply and easily, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a form on Ninja Forms. I like Ninja Forms because um, it allows you to, carry, to do a couple of tweakings. No, I don't want to. I don't want to, I don't want to do any of this now. It allows you to do a couple of tweakings, you know, where you can easily um get things to work out fine you know so here we are so let me create a new form right i'm just going to show you that so that once we add it to the system it makes a lot of sense now i'm saying elementor because elementor is great and um it's intuitive you know it's easy to use and all of that all right so i'm just going to oh you know that could anything so I was going to click on um, a black form, right? So I can create the form from scratch. But this already has this. Let me um, let me go ahead and delete it so that I can start from the beginning. All right. So this is what a black form looks like. So um, we just simply want to, to collect emails and then the first name, right? really simple stuff, nothing complicated, right? So we just want to make the email to be a required um, slot and then the first name as well to be a required slot, right? And then sub, um, for submit, we just say um, get free, right? All right, so we have this locked in. And then with, um, um, you can set up an autoresponder, right? With, with Ninja Forms. One of the reasons why I like it as well, and it, you don't have to break the bank for that. You can set up an autoresponder. First thing is, for instance, this is a success message. When they submit the form, what happens? The form is success message, that's boring. Um, your ebook is on the way to your email. Okay, good. And then um, you want to also recording the this is this is a deal. All right, so we want to also set up an autoresponder, right, to send an email to the user. So here we're gonna we're gonna do this. Um, I'm just going to select the email that the person put in, right. So it means that this autoresponder is going to send an email to this 
um, to the any email that the person submits to you, you know, and then as you can have it here is your free e book, right? And then you can attach, you can attach a book or an audio file, or whatever, or a link. You can attach a link. Let's say here is the book. Then let's make that um, a link. Let's say. Um, yes twitter .com slash slash all right so let's assume that this is the link for your book right for the for the ebook so you can simply insert that there so here is a book that you requested for be sure to read it sorry about any typos see on my screen yeah sorry about the type that you see on my screen i'm just doing this off my head right now all right uh, and then you want to click on publish first all right and then remember you want it in such a way that when they will then lead them to a, to a landing page let's say your seller actually does have um the, the creator has a landing page you want to redirect them to right so you're going to select redirect i mean all of this is on the free is on the free one like this is not premium one so let's assume that um forward slash twitter.com or let me use another account Instagram.com slash KB. I should be right. This is the link of the seller or the link of the person who is actually um, selling the course. So that's your affiliate link there. Gong, gong, gong. So you wonder when, once they submit this, they would land on the affiliate link. You can now click on um, publish once again. Now, for the display, uh, simple stuff. Display form title, no. Clear, yes. Form. Yes. Um, you want that cleared. All right, good. And then for restrictions, um, so that the same person doesn't submit the same form over and over again. And then you think you have 1,000 submissions. Meanwhile, 100 are from one um, Emeka somewhere in a way. Right? So you make the email. So a form with this value. So just with this email address. Have been, have been submitted already. Right. So you can just do that simple stuff. Then we publish. So that being said, we're done with the form. Now we want to get on to the um, page itself. Let me be sure that I am not overshooting my time. Okay. Okay. There's nothing for me yet. Okay, good. So right now, what we want to do is add a new. Um, page. so we just have like some couple of minutes left. And okay, like, how many? Yeah, how many minutes exactly? Uh, yeah. So we just have like twenty minutes left. Okay, no, no, that's 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 enough. All right, that's enough. Yeah, sure, that's enough. All right. So, I mean, if you're getting any value from this, please just let me know, so that I can know that I'm not talking to my village people or talking to the audience i have here uh that i'm talking to people who actually are following and uh getting value from this right okay. oh my gosh okay all right thank you very 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 much Okay, good. So we're here. You want to give your new page a title, let's say seller one, right? Then publish that. Okay, good. Now remember, we want to use Elementor. Elementor is a plugin, and if you don't have any idea whatsoever about WordPress, I mean, like I said, for five minutes is not enough, but 
I just want to show you something that if you have an idea, you would be able to do something quickly and just get something running, right? So add um, Elementor, WordPress runs on plugins, right? So Elementor is really simple and um, it's one of the ones that has a free um, tier and works really fine. You know, you can use it to design something basic and nobody will know you're a beginner. So we want to edit it with Elementor, not the regular Gutenberg for um, WordPress. Okay, okay, okay. Why are you doing All right, good. So um, one thing I'd like us to take note of is the fact that when it comes to your funnels, like, like Caleb said during his session, right? He said, you have to find a way, you have to position your, yourself well. Now, if your ad makes a lot of sense, but your landing page is a mess, you lose some people. If your ad doesn't make sense, and your landing page makes a lot of sense, you will not gain anybody because the right people would not click in the first place. So when it comes to your entire funnel, talking all the way from your ads or your content, wherever you're placing them, um, to your landing page, your opt-in pages, um, your entire sales funnel down to your email marketing, you have to ensure that you structure them well, that you make them look like this is something that makes a lot of sense. You know, that it isn't something you're, that you're not a novice or you're not somebody who doesn't know what they are doing. And these things don't, these things don't actually require all the blood in your life. Right, they don't require your life, you just require little little things. And I'm just gonna show all of that to you. First of all, I've been on people's um, landing pages where you see all of these, you know. I mean, once I land on your landing page and I'm seeing several buttons, I'm seeing sample page or whatever, let's say you have seven pages, the, the possibility of me clicking on any one of them is really, really, really easy, you know. So when it comes to this, first of all, you have to eliminate every form of distraction, right? Every form of distraction. So the first thing you do, you come to page layout and then you do elemental full width. So what you're doing is that you're saying, I don't want anything to be on this page. I just want it to be simple. Now, you now want to, this is, this is, this is what it looks like. Can you see? So it's from left to right. Now we're saying, you know what? I, that's never what I want elemental canvas where there's nothing existing at all. It is whatever I put on the page that would actually exist on the page, right? So this is what it looks like. So the only thing that will be on this page, any button, any link, any content would be what I add specifically, right? So let's just start out. Now, you have to create a section, yeah? So you can come over here and create a section now. Um, it depends on how you choose to structure your landing page. So I'm just going to pick the one that I usually enjoy, you know, having the fact that there is a space on the left and on the right so that it doesn't look too wide. You know, the screen doesn't look too wide and the screen, do and, um, let me, let me even head here. Good. You can see this seller's website. You see that the content is not starting from one edge of the screen to the other. It is actually you know, um, box thing. That, that's the kind of, that's the kind of thing you want to achieve. You know, look at this page. You don't see any website with the, with the content getting to the extreme end, right? So this is, this is something like what we want to achieve, right? So aside this, aside the menu, right? Let's just try to replicate this page here on seller. Right? Let's say, we want to create an opt-in page with um, an ebook that people would buy or whatever. So let's go back to our page. Now, what we want to do is we want to add something. We can choose to add a heading, right? And then we can choose to add a text as well. Just gonna get into all of that. Um, for the heading, you can choose to style it however you want. So let's assume that we don't want the blue color. Let's say we want something more uh, black. Uh, good. 
let's say we want something a blend of um, black and red right uh sorry I don't even know why I'm doing this, but you can you can edit you can use the color picker right to pick whatever color you want. Um, let's say the the particular product you want to affiliate for has a specific color branding around it, then it's best for you to take advantage of that if you can um, and do what you have to do. Now most people might not even know what the um, color is, but if you have Canva right. If you have Canva, you can take the, the, the product, right? Upload it to your Canva. And then when you add it as a as an image on your Canva design page, you will be able and you now click on the other end of the background. Like you want to change the background color from the top left corner, right? Once you do that, that image that you added, the brand colors will show on your um, Canva. So that way you can get the exact color that the brand is using, right? Once you hover over it, you see it ash and then pound key and then blah, 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 FD867, whatever it is. And then you can use that here so that you can have a steady, um, a steady branding between you who is an affiliate selling a product and the original um, website of the, um, or the original landing page or product of the creator, right? So you can use that to make it work. Um, for me, I usually like to use Montserrat. I'm just going to show you a couple of things here so that you have an idea what or how to go around this. Like I said, it's pretty intuitive. So you can just begin to touch and touch and touch. And um, yes, Montserrat. And then you can finally achieve what you want to. Right, so this is what it looks like. Um, we want to make this here good, good, good. Now, what we want to do also is to center the text. Uh, let me come here. So we want to center it in the middle. So let's say we're trying to achieve what we have here on seller's page. Make more sales, the best way to sell digital products online. So first of all, what we're doing with this, is to edit it oh, yeah make oh, caps make more sales right and then you want to make that to be centered right now you could have made a mistake of typing in lower case right you can change all of that from the typography point of things um you can you can edit it however you want and the good thing about elementor is that you can actually have a totally different mobile view from the system view and because a lot of people get on your on your funnels with their mobile phones it makes sense for you to optimize for mobile rather than um system not saying you shouldn't do anything good for the system right but it makes sense if you choose to optimize for mobile so that it makes a lot of sense good so we want to we want to make this all caps let me uh, make uh, sales so uh, then let's make it bold yep all right the best way to sell your digital products online so we want to get this text here the best way to sell the digital products online. So that is what we're going to have here. The best way to sell the digital products online. All right. So this is this is there existing already. Now, um, now seller is your all-in-one e-commerce. Blah blah. Right, so I'm trying not to do a lot of typing, right? Duplicate. So you can duplicate this and then just drag it where you want. Uh, all right, good. Perhaps uh, Tera is your URM, Ipsum, blah, blah, 
Now, so let's assume that this is the text that you want to have on the page, right? Then we want to make that centered. We don't want it. We don't want it just hanging around. Now, if you look at this, you realize that there's a distance between the first text and the top of the screen, right? So we're going to we're going to try to achieve that. We're going to try to achieve that. So okay. We're going to try to achieve that. Okay, I thought we're trying to say something for a moment. All right, we're going to try to achieve that, right? So we're just going to click on the section. Now you click on the section, you can edit that, right? And you come to style. And then, um, now what you want to do is to edit the border, right? Now this means that everything is linked together. This button here means everything is linked together. So if you type in 50, for instance, it means everywhere is going to be 50, right? If you type in an extra 5000, means everywhere is going to be like that and then you can see that the border you can choose to make it solid and then by the time you type in 40 you can see how thick that is so let's say i want to make this to just be a dotted line right and then to make it uh two let's say three three Right, so it means that all around this oh, three. Sorry, Abby, are you there? Sure. Yes, I am sure. I can hear yes, you. so we want to like be rounding up so that we don't like run behind schedule. Okay, sure, sure. Um, all right, sure. all right, sure, no problem. All right, let me let me get to rounding up. So let's let's assume that we have the text that we want on the page, right? And then you want to add your button, yeah, you want to add a button that that says. Um, download ebook now, right? You want to have that button. Now, this button is going to be the button that would lead you directly. Let me do this. Let me view the changes, right? So this button is the button that's going to have the form, right? And then we can um, do all of that. If we have more time, and I've shown you how to add um, a pop-up box so that when you click on the form, um, when you click on the button, the form is going to show up and all of that. But since we don't have a lot of time, I'm just going to try to embed the form and show you how that works exactly so that you can understand um, the process. So I'm just going to come back here. That'll be the last thing I'll be doing. Um, I'll come here, get the form link, get it added to the page and then we're good to go right um good so this is what i want to copy this is what I, what i want to copy all right okay good so let me take this out of the way uh, okay good so we have the form there click on update right good so once we do that you see that it's going to update on the page here so once anybody lands on this page so let's for instance i say my name is ab right and then my email is ab at gmail.com right then i say get free ebook what it does is that it submits the form and then it redirects me to the instagram really simple stuff you know so I'm going to stop um, sharing my screen right now I mean this is how you can basically um, share um, set up a funnel right that would enable you to share your 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 content with the users and then get them to also click and land on the affiliate product that you are actually trying to sell I just got the email now for the book that I just set up for. So, yeah, I think that's that about that. Um, I mean, this session, this session was a masterclass, literally, 
right? You know where people say master class, right? This is the master class that we are talking about, Evi. This session was amazing. I mean, I love how you were like able to like break everything down and actually like show. Um, I mean, you showed us tools and softwares that we can actually use like build a funnel. I mean, I'm even thinking that we should actually bring you back again doing like one of our like um one of our seller webinars to like actually come and like let's have like a full blown session. We'll give you three hours. We'll give you three hours to like show us every single thing literally about. <laughs> <laughs> about 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 how to build funnels but i mean like you can also actually use seller um seller page builder to actually build your opt-in page build your sales page so guys you can just check out seller.co for slash pricing so like check out seller page builder so guys we can only take two questions for every tonight so if you have any question please kindly drop it on the comments box okay kindly drop it on the comments box we can only take two questions tonight okay if you have any question kindly drop it on the comment box and we will be looking forward to answering your question but if you also enjoyed um every session please give us the fire emoji on the comments box if you learned something new give us a fire emoji on the comments box um okay we can see sam oyeji saying there what you can learn today when else you come across it it will be so new again concentrate and learn yes concentrate and learn um catching moments on sports says hmm what well sir i really have learned a lot or i really have a lot to learn amazing 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 we can see solar odunta saying thanks thanks for the master of funnel and uh, master of funnel maker ab you want my heart ah, ah, master of funnel maker show us the way my guy <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, I love what I love what um um Amazon said here. Things you need one hosting, domain name, content management system, using WordPress, you need plugins to get um um, um to get going. Funny enough, you can actually use seller to like do all of these things actually. Um, um so someone is saying what question? Would you guys saying can we use Android phone to create this page? Okay. Definitely, you can. I mean, what the, the only thing there is that is your screen big enough? Can you use your mobile phone? Can, is your mobile phone powerful enough to actually handle it? But if you have a good mobile phone with a big screen, why not? You can. Sorry, awesome, awesome, phenomenal. Um, we have Pompex asks, what causes constant error on landing page like 404? Um, it depends. Maybe your um, page linking has an issue. Maybe you need to set up how your um, your pages are um, tracked. You know, maybe you think that it's supposed to have slash the name of the web of the web page, right? But what is actually on your website, the settings there is the numbers. So you read it as post and all of that. So it's something that you might want to explore. Awesome, phenomenal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Someone is saying yes, so bring him back and give him like five hours. I, I said it, so we'll give him five hours. <laughs> we'll give him five hours. I mean, we'll bring you back and the session will be the funnel masterclass. That's it, the funnel masterclass with Ebby. Right. Um, um, so I mean, um, these are all the questions that we can ask. I mean, Ebby, someone asked here, um, if you have a YouTube channel where we can reach you, like where we can reach out to you. Um, my, I do have a YouTube channel, right? But there's nothing there. <laughs> oh. I hope to start creating really soon. I hope to start creating really soon. But I do have uh, a course that I sell. But you can reach out to me on social media, really. What What are your handles on social media? Just my name, A B I S H I D I. E-B-I-A-S-H-I-D-I. Facebook, right, yeah. LinkedIn, Instagram. You all can that. check him anywhere. Facebook, LinkedIn, Forbes list, Google, everywhere you find him. Yes, Forbes list. Forbes list. <laughs> <laughs> You find him every actually. Thank you so much, every guys. As usual, every so this is my pleasure. 